dear students today i am going to explain the next system from the phase equilibrium that is silver lead system so see towards the slides this is a phase diagram of the silver lead system silver lead system is called as a two component four phase system there are two chemical constituents silver and lead being there are two chemical constituents the system is called two component system there are four phases solid ag solid pb solid molten mass of silver and lead and vapor phase these four phases are present in the silver lead system but the melting point of silver and lead are too much high and boiling points are still too much high being they are boiling points are too much high the vapor phase is practically not considered in the silver lead system and hence it is also called as a condensed system in this system being vapor phase is absent the remaining two variables that is temperature and composition are considered how they are affecting the silver lead system that is taken under consideration this is the phase diagram of the silver lead system it is a two component system in this case there are two curves ac and bc these are the salient features for salient features see the next slide two curves ac and bc eutectic point c and three areas above acb below ac and below bc salient in the salient features of the silver lead system we have to see the two curves two curves are ac and bc then the eutectic point c this is the eutectic point c and the areas above acb this area then below ac and below bc these are the different areas which we have to see in detail then under this bit we have to see the pattinson's process of desilverization of argentiferous lead argentiferous lead containing a small amount of silver that is less than 0.1% which is melted well above the melting temperature of the pure lead this process is explained with the help of this xy line argentiferous argentiferous lead is heated well above the melting point of lead up to such higher temperature and then melted argentiferous lead is allowed to cool along the line xy when it reaches at the point y on bc curve then at this point the solid lead starts to starts to separate out and the remaining molten mass of argentiferous lead consists the more percentage of the silver whenever point c is reached at that point the percentage of silver becomes 2.5% from the 0.1% means this at this type of molten mass of argentiferous lead is used for the further processing to extract the silver is profitable 
this is the Parkinson's process of desilverization. Then, in detail, I am explaining each and every curves, detective point, and so on in detail. So, see the board. Now, for further detailed understanding, I am explaining silver leg system in detail with the help of board. This system is called as a two component and four page system. This system is called as two component and four phase system. Why it is so? Silver layer system is a system in which there are two chemical constituents or chemical compositions or chemical entities that are silver and lead. And hence, being there are two chemical constituents which are necessary to explain the system chemically two chemicals chemical entities are required and hence it is called a two component system it is called as a four phase system why it is so because there are four phases solid silver solid lead solution of molten agpb and fourth phase is vapor vapor phase there are four phases which are present in the silver lead system, hence it is called as a four phase system. But the melting point of silver is 961 and the melting point of lead is 327 degrees Celsius, it is too much high. And beyond that, after melting, silver and lead comes into the liquid state and then it have to be boiled means the boiling points are too much high and due to that reason vapor phase is practically absent or not considered in the explanation. Being the vapor phase is not considered or taken under consideration, the effect of pressure is not considered in the silver lead system and hence the remaining two variables that is the composition and temperature, these are the two remaining variables which are creating the impact or showing the impact or effect on the silver lead system. And hence, the phase diagram of the silver lead system is called the TC diagram. That is, the T stands for temperature and C stands for composition or the concentration. Up to this point, we have seen the two phases, that is the uh, two systems that is the water system and sulfur system. These are the one component system. Why it is so? Because in the water system there are three phases. All the three phases are having a only one chemical entity that is H2O and hence water system is a one component system. In the sulfur system also there are four phases which are explained with the help of only chemical entity that is sulfur and hence it is also a one chemi chemical entity and the system is called one compound system. But in this system there are two chemical constituents silver and lead means there are two components or chemical species which are necessary to explain the chemical constituent or the composition of the given system and hence it is called a two component system. The four phases 
are the solid AG, solid PB, solution of AG PB, and the vapor phase. But in actual practices, vapor phase is not considered in the, in this explanation, being the boiling points of the silver and lead are too much high, and hence this system is called a condenser system. Being we are not considering the vapor phase, it is called a condenser system. And due to that reason, for calculation of the degree of freedom, the original formula is F is equal to C minus P plus 2. This is a mathematical statement of the phase rule. In this case, we are using the F dash is equal to C minus P plus 1. Instead of plus 2, we are using the plus 1. Why this so? Because it is a condensed system. Silver lead system is a two component and four phase system. Two components are silver and lead. Four phases are solid AG, solid PB, solution of that is the molten solution of AG PB and the vapor phase. These are the four phases and hence it is called a two component and four phase system. And being we are not considering or not taking under consideration during the explanation of the silver lead system, vapor phase, the effect of pressure is not taken under consideration and that is on the remaining variables that is the composition and temperature are taken under consideration for the study of effect of that two variables on the silver lead system. And hence the phase diagram of silver lead system is called the TC diagram or the phase diagram of the silver lead system. In this system, we have to see the different salient features of the silver lead system. That salient features are as in this case, we have to see the curves, then eutectic point. and the areas. What are the different curves which we have to see? Curve AC and curve BC. Curves. These are the two curves which we have to take under consideration during the explanation of the silver lead system. Then eutectic point. Eutectic point C. This is a point C. That point is called the eutectic point. And then areas. Area above ACB. Below AC. And below BC. These are the challenge features of the phase diagram of silver lead system. Now we have to start to study one by one. Curve AC. We have to use the same technique to explain the silver lead system. Name of the curve. Then equilibrium then degree of freedom is, is equal to how much and any special point with the help of these we could explain the system sil, uh, silver lead system properly name of the curve curve AC is called the bridging point curve of AG Reaching point curve of AG. This curve is called reaching point curve or the melting point curve of the AG. Along this curve, there are two phases which are in equilibrium that are from this side 
a liquid of the molten AgPb and from this side that is the solid Ag. Means along the curve AC there are two phases which are in equilibrium are solid Ag and molten solution of the AgPb. Phases are two which are in equilibrium that is the liquid of AgPb and solid Ag. Then degree of freedom in this case f is equal to f dash is equal to c minus p plus 1 we are not using the plus 2 why it is so because it is a condensed system in this case we are using the plus 1 therefore f is equal to how many components there are two components that is the silver and lead 2 minus number of phases there are two phases liquid phase and solid phase minus 2 plus 1 plus 2 minus 2 will be cancelled and remaining one if that is f is equal to 1 means the degree of freedom along the curve AC is 1 and the system is monovariant. Then we have to see the curve BC. Curve BC is called the freezing point, freezing point curve of the lead. Freezing point curve of lead. In curve AC, the melting point goes on decreasing. Here, 961 and at this point, the temperature is only 303 degrees Celsius. As the composition of lead increases, then the melting point of silver goes on decreasing. In the same method, during the explanation of the curve BC also, as the composition or concentration of lead increases, then the melting point of lead is also goes on decreasing. This curve BC is called the freezing point curve of lead. Then the equilibrium along the curve BC are from this side liquid of the AGPP and from this side solid lead. Means there are two phases which are in equilibrium are solid lead and solution of EGPB. Means phases are two. There are two components along the curve BC that is the lead and silver. Hence C is equal to 2. Therefore, the degree of freedom F is equal to F dash is equal to C minus P plus 1. By putting the values components are 2. Minus 2 plus 1 is equal to 1. Means the degree of freedom F is equal to 1. Hence, the system along the curve BC is monovariant. Then, we have to see the eutectic points. Eutectic point C is a point at which the two curves AC and BC meeting with each other and at that point temperature is 303 degrees celsius and the composition that is the concentration of lead and silver will be 97.5 percent is lead and 2.5 percent is silver you take the point c Eutectic point C is a point at which the two curves AC and BC are meeting with each other. At this point, the temperature is 303 degrees Celsius and concentration is 97.5% lead and 2.5% is AG. At this point C, there are three phases which are in equilibrium. Solid AG, solution, solid PB, and solid AGPB. There are three phases which are in equilibrium. P is equal to 3. Components are 2, lead and AG, silver and lead. 
Therefore, degree of freedom at the point C is f dash is equal to C minus P plus 1 components are 2 phases are 3 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. Degree of freedom C at the point of C degree of freedom is 0 and hence the system is non-variant. Means at the point C that is the eutectic point being there are three phases which are in equilibrium that is a solid AG, solid PB and a solution and from this side is also solid AG PB means there are three phases which are in equilibrium and hence component, components are also two and hence the degree of freedom is zero and hence point at the point C degree of freedom is zero that is system is non-variant or the zero variant then we have to see the areas areas area above ACB ACB above this area there is a molten mass of the liquid of silver and lead means in this area the phase is one that is a single phase P is equal to one and components are two therefore degree of freedom is equal to F dash is equal to C minus P plus 1 is equal to components 2 pages 1 being there is a single page that is the liquid or the molten mass of the silver and lead. A liquid mass plus 1 plus 1 minus 1 will, will be cancelled and remaining 2. F is equal to 2 and hence the system is bivariant. Means in the in this area the system is bivariant. Then area below AC. In the area below AC, there are two phases which are in equilibrium present. That is the solid AG and solution of AGPB. And hence the degree of freedom F dash is equal to C minus P plus 1 is equal to components are 2, phases are 2, solid and solution plus 1 plus 1 minus 1 will, will be cancelled and remaining 1 f is equal to 1 system is monovariant system is monovariant in the same method below the curve BC there are two phases solid PB and the solution of AGPB means solid and solution these are the two phases which are showing the equilibrium with each other and hence the degree of freedom is same components are two phases are two therefore by cancelling plus two minus two we will get the once again f is equal to one that is the system is monovariant in this case also below the 3.30 degree Celsius. There are two phases, solid AG and PB. At this case, there are also two phases, two components, and hence the degree of freedom is also one. That is the system is monovariant. Means the in areas below AC, below BC, the degree of freedom is one, and hence the system is monovariant. Above the area ACB, the degree of freedom is 2 when there are a single phase only. At the point C, eutectic point C, the temperature is 303 degree Celsius and the composition is 97.5 degree Celsius, 97.5 percent of the lead and 2.5 percent of the AG. Then we have to see the regarding the Patterson's process for the desilverization of Argentiferous lead. Pattinson's
that is a process for the desegregation desegregation of argentiferous lead this argentiferous lead having a composition of silver that is 0.1% only or less than 0.1% means in the argentiferous lead there is a composition composition of silver that silver is should be removed from that argentiferous lead argentiferous lead for the commercial purposes or for the different purposes that is the intention but 0.1 percent ag that percentage is very much low and in that case such argentiferous lead cannot be used directly or profitably for the further process of the extraction of silver for that purpose this process is used for the for making the more concentration in that argentiferous lead by this method in the patinson's process what what is the mechanism used melt the argentiferous lead well above the melting point after melting it completely up to the point x and after melting and forming the liquid of the argentiferous lead then it is allowed to cool slowly along the x y line whenever it cools and it reaches at the point y then what will happen this solid lead starts to separate with the help of ladles then what will happen the lead goes on separating solid and whatever the argentiferous lead remaining behind which will contain the more concentration of silver means argentiferous lead is heated well above the melting point a liquid is formed and that liquid is allowed to cool along the xy whenever the temperature is coming or the point y is reached on the curve bc from that point a removal of or separation of solid pb is started means more and more solid pb or lead is separated along the y to c point and due to that reason what happens more and more lead will be separated from the argentiferous lead and the comparatively the more concentration of silver will be present at the point c in the argentiferous lead after this patinson's process means at the point c whatever the argentiferous lead is present that argentiferous lead contains now 2.5% of the silver and 97.5% of lead means at this composition of the silver this argentiferous lead, argentiferous lead is used profitably for the extraction of silver this is regarding the silver lead system silver lead system is a two component four phase system but paper phase is not taken under consideration being the boiling point of silver and lead are too much high and hence it is called the condensed lead system salient phases are curve ac curve bc then the eutectic point c and the different areas area above acb area below ac area below bc and eutectic point c and uh, patinson's process for the desilverization of argentiferous lead we have to see in detail then the next part of the phase equilibrium we will see in the next video thank you